when it comes to horror films, an opening sequence often comes with an opening kill. A lot of times, it can be mysterious and show very little in terms of the monster or the antagonist, but the tension, the pulse, the fear is still there. But there are so many films that you should stop watching after the opening. It's just not going to work. Now, I'm not here to bash a filmmaker because filmmaking is hard. Writing is hard. Getting funding is hard. Putting script to screen is damn near impossible for so many. But that doesn't mean we don't all have our pet peeves. I find that my pet peeves get the better of me often when it comes to films. We all have them, and when it happens, we can't help but wonder what the heck the filmmakers were thinking. And sometimes, we can't get past it. The Shed, directed by Frank Sabatella, is a 2019 film on Shudder. It's about a teenager named Stan who must figure out what to do with a vampire living in his shed. His best friend Dahmer, however, has a much more sinister plan. It's an intriguing premise that could go either way. And then the opening sequence begins. The sun is clearly about to rise. The night is not black. It's a shade of blue, only getting lighter. We cut to a local farmer played by Frank Whaley, out of breath, blasting a shot with his rifle, and then running. Well, uh, if you can call it running. For someone so petrified, he is moving so freaking slow. Look, if Tom Cruise can run at the speed of light on camera, and Truffaut can get a little kid to run for miles on a beach, then we should be able to get Frank Whaley moving a bit faster. And don't talk to me about budget here. You don't need a big budget to do a fast run with all the cheap gadgets you can buy nowadays and some well done editing. If you're uninjured and not 100 years old, you can run a little faster. And then we have this really cool moment where the farmer is in the foreground and in the background, out of focus, in the mist, is a robed figure walking ever so slowly, stopping and looking at his prey and then continuing forward. It's our vampire. And we're back to running. Nope, he's tripped. Little Frankie tripped, and he's dropped his gun. I'm sorry, this film came out in 2019. Doing the trip while being chased is so 19th century. Like, come on, don't insult your audience and don't insult your characters. That's what it really is. It's saying you aren't even trying as a writer or a filmmaker, that your heart isn't in it, like, you can't figure out a better way for the vampire to catch some random old farmer? Nosferatu. But then it gets even worse. Because now the vampire is closing in, and we are going to get a kill. Well, yes, technically. But first, let's play Ring Around the Rosie. Willie runs around a tree to escape. Are you serious? So the vampire snatches him up, and honestly, it's a great looking shot, and every shot of the vampire is really top notch. I'm so on board. He bites into that farmer, and then, wait, 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 wait. The sun is up. The sun catches the vampire off guard, and he burns to death. He did not see the sun coming. Are you effing kidding me? The vampire didn't see the sun coming. The black of night was gone, buddy. There were hazy shades of blue everywhere. You're a vampire and you didn't realize the sun was about to shine bright? I'm not saying the vampire has to wear a Rolex or even a Timex, but he's a vampire. He should be able to look up at the sky and know exactly how long he has. And don't tell me this farmer has blood so rich and exquisite and delicious that it was worth risking being out at this time. I'm sorry, I can't fathom this. I can't understand it. Maybe it's just a dumb vampire. Maybe it's a vampire with a death wish. Maybe it's been around for thousands of years and it's just over it and it wants to be dead. This completely baffles me. I am dumbfounded. If anyone else has seen The Shed, please Write in the comments below what the strategy was here. Did this bother anyone else? I couldn't take the rest of the film seriously. Sometimes we can overlook certain things and sometimes we can't. This is something I just can't overlook. And this isn't the only reason I don't like this film either. After all, there's a vampire trapped in a wooden shed, but this vampire actually punches through the wooden shed with ease, so it can clearly leave at night whenever it wants to, but it doesn't. There are things that can truly just kill a movie. Like when you say we boarded up all the doors really well, even though we literally just saw a scene where there's a windowed door that isn't boarded up whatsoever. We boarded up this place really good. How good? Real good. We boarded up all the windows upstairs and down here too. Come on, guys. 
Don't insult your audience. Don't insult your own characters. Remember, when an opening sequence falls flat, the rest of the movie falls flat too. It's that simple.